the, the team that we choose this year, Cannibale, is the first, uh, the first uh, day we, we have announced the team. We had a reply, a very interesting, very important reply from uh, a collective from Brazil that came uh, in the festival. I don't know if he's already here. They said, us, I don't agree with this, I don't agree with that. And it was saying interesting, great things that we have uh, keep in our heart, that we were totally uh, in, uh, in the same mood. But when we are presented the festival, we would like to let, you, to let the people know that the word cannibale is a word that has been interpreted in many ways. The first is the fake way, the one that the, the colonizer had used when they were saying, uh, we are from Carib, ah, Carib, 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 you eat people and so on. But consider that uh, this, this kind of uh, idea was the idea of the other, that was uh, in any kind of uh, colonialist mind. The Roman were saying that uh, after the North Africa, there were people eating men. The, the British, the English, they were saying that in Ireland, they were eating men. So consider that it is not so strange that someone considers the other someone that will eat him. Because the uh, colonist uh, is what he do. He will eat the people that he is going to racialize. Is the, the, the way the capitalism works. Uh, no, it's our eighth time at Crack. It's been nine years we are coming since 2014, and without COVID, it's eight years. Project about? You told me that it's a collective project. Yeah, it's sure we are coming at at Forte Ponesino before Crack, like a week or two before, and uh, we make a collective book at uh, Six Screen Workshop they have in the Forte Ponesino. And uh, this year, we made this book called Gnam. It's a book all in six screen. Each page is one organ. And every artist that comes before crack can do it. And uh, every artist that comes at crack a little bit, a few, a few days before crack, they can, they can draw inside. Whatever they, whatever they want. About uh, cannibalism, what we wanted to do for the book was to express the people that, uh, that has been hated, uh, hated by, the cap by the capitalism system. And so uh, for the cover, we made a man, eat, a rich man may, uh, eating babies that go through his digestive system and finish uh, as dead people and in his digestive system, we see the babies growing as an adult and uh, passing through church, military school, uh, banks, everything that makes our society today. <laughs> That's why he wanna deal the king, I'm gonna stay.
Say you watch me, I'm a deal Now I'm high tech, you may not get me from a deal Now when you live on campus, what the hell can you do? Now I'm like, can I get me from a deal? Now I'm high tech For the price they paid for They didn't only beat me They pulled out my hair, my nails And every inch of my flesh using pliers My father-in-law even inserted iron, hot iron into my ears and my vagina and he locked me up in a fucking cellar. After that, despite being put in jail in 10 years and being arrested, they were free on parole in two days. I am here, but I am not here. Uh, my name is Mariam Mesfiwi, I'm 30 years old. I'm a Moroccan graphic designer, illustrator and comic author based in Angoulême in France. I'm also the co-founder of Spin-Off, a festival of uh, underground comics and uh, fanzines. And I also run a Rizograph studio in Angoulême and I have a small label of uh, cassettes called uh, Misère Label. Is your first time here in France? Uh, no, actually it's my third time. And I enjoy coming here uh, every year. Difference between the other time and this time? Um, to me, it would be uh, the biggest difference was uh, that I had the chance also to be chosen to create the poster of this edition, which means a lot to me. Uh, the theme was uh, Cannibal, uh, Eat Yourself. And so it was very interesting to me uh, to work on this subject and uh, try to find a parallel between uh, capitalism and uh, the fact that the cannibalism is linked to the system that's really taking advantage of our bodies and uh, is exploiting us and eating us. And uh, the only way somehow to ex escape from this is to eat ourselves and uh, get away from uh, this oppressive uh, situation. <laughs> Is your first time here, Krak? Uh, it's uh, my third time in Krak Festival because I used to come here ten years ago with the collective uh, Le Dernier Cri. And what's the main difference between uh, ten years ago and now? The main difference between ten years ago and now is that there is a lot more people this year. Before it was only in the cells and now you can see a lot of new collective and new artists. What's the project that you bring this year at the Crack? This year um, I made uh, two paintings with a, a friend who is a painter also, Luca Ferrero. We wanted to express the theme of cannibalism uh, by uh, painting these people that are eating themselves because they destroyed everything around them. There is no more food on the planet. Everything was destroyed by capitalism and in the end, they just have to eat themselves. Questa volta, anche questa seconda volta, questo matrimonio è durato poche volte, poco tempo. Sono tornata in villaggio, costretta, umiliata. È passato poco tempo dal momento in cui sono tornata e i talebani, i capi dei talebani hanno deciso di lapidarmi. Sono qui e non sono qui. La mia scelta, il mio delito. Io non sono la tua proprietà.
Uh, I'm Thiago Dezan, I'm a Brazilian multi-artist working mainly with photography, documentary photography and filmmaking and also doing some sound, sound tracks for videos. And uh, I am Infint, uh, Italian um, drawer, illustrator and artist working in uh, multimedia but mostly with painting and installation. We met each other in an anarchist book fair in New York and we realized that, our that my photos and his drawings had a really similar style and could complement each other. So we developed this project in Sonia that is a search for meaning uh, and for search meaning in society in the world we have to understand the problems that are around, it, around us. That's why the images are very dark. I go very to a very underground places to get in touch with a lot of people in this search for answers to how society works. We decided to use like some thematics that are in general can be tough and sometimes can, can be misunderstood because uh, in, in the project there is a lot of uh, uh, weapons, guns, uh, there is a lot of uh, things related in, to violence in general. We think that there is the necessity to face the violence but without hidden it or without making like a fairy tale around it uh, but uh, trying to look what is inside uh, the society in which we live. We think also all this situation, the gangs, the criminals, the, the drug dealer, uh, the cartel, uh, the military, the homeless people in the street uh, and all the subjects that are mainly portrayed uh, in insomnia. It's uh, something that can exist uh, exactly because the violence exists. Sono Giulia Spugnoli, ehm, della Cella numero 8, eh, Crack Festival 2023, Cannibale. La eh, Cella è mh, stata assegnata al collettivo Stampa, di cui faccio parte io, e anche eh, un altro artista che si chiama Antea Eta. Eh, io personalmente porto questa parte di progetto qua, che si chiama Eroica, che è un progetto di arte partecipativa femminista, Mm, uh, che appunto ha una serie di obiettivi fra cui appunto quello uh, di mostrare una diversa um, rappresentazione del femminile da un punto di vista appunto anche fotografico di ritratto ci siamo poste uh, rispetto al tema appunto proprio di nuovo il corpo femminile che viene uh, appunto distorto e uh, cannibalizzato per qualsiasi fine materiale nella società capitalista e patriarcale quindi per me appunto portare eroica rispetto a questo tema c'entra perché appunto è una forma di resistenza a questo continuo no? mistificare, ingannare, cambiare le parole I'm Suliana Mou, uh, I'm French and I live in Leipzig and it's the first time I come in uh, the Crack Festival uh, for the edition of Cannibalism and uh, that's a great thing because I really love cannibalism, <laughs> like it's a really part of my work and uh, I'm like really big fan of horror movie with cannibalism so my work 
like it's in inspired by this and by this creepy and freaky imagination about flesh and um, blood and stuff like that like my mushroom here um, also inspired by the nightmare I can do with uh, when I was a child.